welcome back and today um, on this video I'm gonna do additional spaces magical perspective and free so first off, we have three dimensions even now but height now the fourth dimension is not found within dimensions it's a little cover the differences between these two dimensions in the physical and fourth or oh, just dimensions in general magical dimensions versus or magical dimensions with um spiritual dimensions on the on earth um i will um sort some documents to you in the description starting off we have <clears throat> Um, is a the only closer up to have a object in three dimensional planes. In, also, as you can see, it is two, two cubes thin each other, constant flux and movement through each other almost. Furthermore, the tesseract is beyond bounds of the physical three dimensional. What is on screen is not accurate to that what that is. have a document um it is written by manly p hall and it details i read through it it details the fourth dimensions and how we as three-dimensional beings can ascend to that dimension within the document he related to the third eye which is the pineal gland and a bunch of esoteric stuff and he said that in the fourth dimension most of it relates to the idea that whatever you, your mind can create things in the fourth dimension with just the idea of thought, nothing physical. Um, <clears throat> link down in the description where you can access that. Now, <clears throat> I have a couple quotes from a great book um, called the, the Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life. In the volume two, I will quote two passages about the fourth dimension. In the Great Pyramid of Giza, there is a uh, space. Um, it is below the king's chamber, so it's somewhere below ground. And, and I quote, this space has a very unusual nature, especially towards the end of the tunnel, um, where it ends at a wall. In this tunnel, there's a connection between the third and fourth dimensions. Whatever you think and feel happens, for real. If you've got any fears, they will become real. They will manifest and will not allow you to survive in the new world. If you are fearless, then you are free to manifest in the positive, which opens the door to the higher worlds. As you will see, this is the nature of the fourth dimension. Whatever you think and feel happens. Page 267. As we continue delving into the I dimension here on Earth, I'm, um, we have another quote. Um, and this time it is again about the fourth dimension and us humans being in it. So, to, again, strictly say that um, here on Earth cannot be physically as of what we know right now. Dimensions in are completely mad. Now these spiritual dimensions are different, so if time is warped completely, and here's another quote I have from this book, <clears throat> 38. Time is in the fourth, fourth dimension. On Earth is several hours D. So in what will seem like about two years, you will reach adult. But by simply growing up, it is not that life is all about just there are levels of knowledge and it would be hard to imagine from where you first enter the fourth dimension. Just astrophysics. Um, this book, so The Ancient Secrets of Flower of Life, Volume 2, Fourth Dimension, I would highly recommend to read it also, both links to the volume and Since we've already covered the dimensions for dimension, I will delve into the magical world of Dungeons and Dragons, primarily relating to the Forgotten setting, so Trill, um, although there are some alterations to those dimensions within other worlds. So, within uh the gotten um magical diamond within spells such as more mansioned a few others the way you can't even really describe it the way to describe it is that if you have a wall and you cast more kind's mansion on it there's a door now if you would 
go behind the wall, or even try to cut or behind that wall, you would discover nothing. Yet, if you entered through that door and just through that door, dimension with a physical dimension, another space um, filled with whatever the spellcaster would want. Um, another example is the domain of Silverleaf, which the Council of Verdan houses its headquarters. Now, here, the best way to describe would be these dimensions are warped almost to a weird and unknowing, mysterious way. No one knows who it was. It might have been the Great Old Oak, which is the patron deity of um, the council. Nonetheless, the way to describe it would be if imagine you're walking down a hallway. Now, if you walk, you see these certain uh, objects around. Um, okay, if I'm in the main hall and I walk down a flight of stairs in this hallway, let's say, okay, underneath where the cellars are. As I walk down that hallway, that hallway would not have any end. I would just keep walking until I reach the end. And I wouldn't know how much time passed between that. So it could take me 15 minutes to walk down that hallway or five seconds. Furthermore, certain doors around the area, which would seem to open into either a different room, which is behind that door, might open to a completely different space, such as most common example given is most council members when they find themselves in the library of a lower section of the fourth section um, they usually get there by wanting to go somewhere else so if your wishes so in okay in the council again if your I or Dendronte walking down this flight of stairs want to access the uh, library so by lore maybe meet Lorbin to ask him for some book recommendations I would walk there um, and all of a sudden I see a door where there was no door before. I open it, and it enters directly into the library foyer, and from there I can go on. Yet, if I was passing back that way, and I did not was not looking for a library, there would be no door. And that wall behind, there's a storage room, let's say. That's kind of how the dimensions work here. Best way to explain it. Now, they're all magical. This magic is untapped, unresearched. Although... There is a tome, tomb written on the, the, these dimensions um, found in the um, Candlekeep Mysteries expand or supplement um, campaign. Anyway, uh, with that, I think I'll conclude the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it isn't too long because this video is getting lengthy. Please subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. Drop a like and comment for any topics you would like me to go over and discuss. Anything at all. Thank you again. None shall defy the crest of Rodan.